I'm Anna-Marie Galmstrom. I'm an architect. A lot of what we do is um, work with collections. We work with the culture of places and how people use the places and understanding the places, putting your hands in the ground, how do things work here, and finding the specifics and the assets of the particular place. The residency um, at the V&A is called Time for Play, and it's tied up to the Museum of Childhood. What I heard about it and I found interesting were that the Museum of Childhood is in this transition period at the moment. It's, there's a redevelopment um, uh, happening, uh, so the museum will be closed for a while, but reopen. And um, what could you use this transition period for? So I think one part of the residency was about looking at all the assets of this amazing building um, and its story, how it's traveled from from South Ken, it was packed together and then put up again in Bethnal Green. The VNA um, was founded being this place for learning. It was um, uh, an archive of good examples. Henry Cole, when he, was, uh, when he started the museum, um, he introduced the Gallery of Falls principles, where there were, I think it was 87 examples from wallpaper to decorative items. And so I looked into the, what was the, the false principle, the bad design. And one of them was this candlestick holder. It was labeled chance rather than design. Uh, and I'm like, hey, hang on. You know, <laughs> how many times in the process of making, you know, all the mistakes you make, that's actually how we work as creative people. I mean, is you're learning from your mistakes, you're, it's kind of the development of the process you go through. The Gallery of Failure is about putting up an open studio, um, uh, I suppose, and just experiment uh, with smaller exercises and learning through play, learning through making. So that was kind of one part. And then the play part, or the time for play, um, was looking at how the museum could maybe open its door. So one of the things that, that you see a lot of museums is that they're, especially museums of this time period, that they're fairly um, close to their external environment. And I'm quite interested in this, the, the space between um, the street and the gallery. So this transition um, um, from the more kind of informal um, urban environment, and then museums often become a bit more formal when you move inside. So how could maybe some of this informality that you have in your in a park just out here or on the street in the urban sphere. How can we maybe move some of that informality in, into the museum? One thing was manifested, I think, through, through the residency was this strong link between um, project and program. That you cannot just build and do something and put it out there. You need to understand your audience. <laughs> you need to understand what goes into the building. 